This week on Life on Jupiter, we'll show you some of the inconveniences of the cruising lifestyle. We come up with some plans that will encompass one more year of cruising. We depart Cape Canaveral and head north, but not before witnessing the most amazing spectacle. So we're on the Indian River, just near Cape Canaveral, well, at Cape Canaveral, and we've been trying to find a hardware nearby that we can get to, and we've been looking for Home Depot, of course, is the biggest hardware that, we're, that we know of, but it it's like three bus rides, and then we're away for hours, and we have to leave our dinghy somewhere safe. Um, <laughs> This is the inconvenience of not having a, a house and not having a car. Um, I wouldn't trade it, you know, this is our choice, we love this, but um, this is the challenges. So we've found Ace Hardware, which um, suddenly popped up and went, oh, of course, Ace Hardware, and it's right on the highway on the water's edge, so that's fantastic. Now we're sailing across the Indian River here in one meter of, well, two meters of water. And we've got to anchor over there. It's a really shallow area. That's okay. We'll anchor where we can, as close as we can. Then we have to take the dinghy ashore. Looking at Google Earth there, looks like a bit of a parkland. It's all rocky um, break wall along that way, so we can't leave the dinghy there. But there's a little beach bit with lots of bush and trees and so that's what I'm planning. That's where we're going to put the dinghy. Hide the dinghy in the bushes there and then it's only maybe a five to ten minute walk to the hardware. Because we need to carry back a long piece of aluminium so we can't even get an Uber if we wanted to and we've probably had difficulty getting on a bus. So this is really convenient that the shop is so close to the dinghy we can just walk back and that's a rare thing I mean the other day we visited uh, the Kennedy Space Center and we left the dinghy stash in in the mangroves uh, and thankfully it was still there when we come back but that's the sort of there's a security risk there you know every time you leave the dinghy we've just got a little bit of uh, stainless steel cable with a padlock Anyone with a car nearby could just go and get a hammer and smash that up and steal our dinghy. But so far, so good. But these are the inconveniences of living aboard. Okay, so we've come across to Ace Hardware is just up that way. From Google Earth I saw that this park, you can see the stone wall there, so we can't go there, but just to the left is some trees. And there's a possibility we could pull the dinghy up there on the bank somewhere. Padlock up to a tree and leave it for a while, that should be okay. As you can see it's very shallow water, there's, there's a monohull there, a keelboat stuck up on the mud. And we've done this before. When we went to Kennedy Space Center, we uh, had to walk and pull the dinghy through about 100 meters of water. Uh, it's only this deep, but yeah, you know, alligators in there. Uh, there's another option. Looks like some new jetty here. I don't know if that's private, but we're gonna go check that out. And then over there is an older jetty, um, which apparently is public. The chart says it's a public jetty, but then it's a really long walk. <laughs> so let's go look at the trees first, yeah? 
Well, we struck it lucky with this jetty, which was completed only a few days earlier. Good thing too, because the water was so shallow, I would have been pulling the dinghy along by hand. But even a new jetty comes with its own challenges. One leg each side of the pole. No. The other side of the pole. You're climbing down the pole. That's it. That's it. And now you've got to go for a bolt. Can you go for the next bolt? That would be. Alright, you can go the next bolt. Yep. Good. Next bolt. It's a long way. Put your arms down, lower your arms around the pole. That's it. Nice. Okay. I guess these are not the normal challenges for going up the shops. So we were just about ready to leave Cape Canaveral, just waiting on a couple more packages to arrive. But first, a really special rocket launch. This is the last one, I promise you. Yes. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Oh, wow. 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 <laughs> oh, my God. It's beautiful, is it? Come out of the top. Yeah. It's like daylight. Look at that. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's more pretty to be watch at night, is it? See that last night? Oh, <laughs> That's our fourth launch, and um, well, wow. that's the best. Well, yeah, most spectacular. Our first night launch, awesome. So this week, all we've done really is hang around the mailbox. Um, it's been at least a year and a half. It's probably, I'd say, it's been two years really since we've been able to order 
stuff online and receive it, you know, fairly quickly and without huge freight and uh, import taxes and that sort of thing. So we've been going a little mad <laughs> shopping online here. Would you believe I, I can't use Amazon yet? Um, they just seem to have black barred me. <laughs> I don't know why. How many accounts did you get? I tried, I've tried five different accounts and they just cancel it due to suspicious activity. I think it's got to do with, uh, it's an Australian address, US delivery address, and um, I tried the Hong Kong, Singapore card, this, the, this, sorry, the Hong Kong, Singapore, Australia. And the number is American. Yeah, and the phone number's American, so they... <laughs> They're confused. Yeah. <laughs> and I've called them and talked to them. Oh, yes, okay, oh, yeah, well, that should be fine. We'll sort that out. And no, nah, still cancel. So we've been using Walmart <laughs> online, which is most... You can almost get anything you, can, anything yeah. you want. Um, and same, most of them is from Amazon, too. Yeah, similar stuff to Amazon. Yeah. So, yeah, we've been hanging here. We set up this mailbox at Cape Canaveral. Uh, at Coco, and that's where we've been waiting for the last of our packages to arrive. Mm -hmm. So we got some plans up until this getting to the HSBC bank and getting to America. We had no plan beyond that. So finally, I think we've come up with some plans. Yeah. And it's exciting. There's the Great Loop which is, includes the intercoastal waterway on the east coast here, which we haven't done because we're too tall and we can't go under the bridges. But we're going to continue up outside the east coast. We're going to haul out at Deltaville, uh, which is in the Chesapeake, and uh, do an anti fell mm -hmm. And get back in quickly and go up to New York City, up the Hudson, and around the Catskills area, there's um, boatyards there, which are all set up, because people do this, to pull your mast off and uh, drop it down on the deck. Yeah. And we're just going to motor from then on up into the Great Lakes, Yay. into Canada, yeah. because we need to leave the US for about two months, uh, apparently. We need to stay outside of the U.S. for an appreciable amount of time. And apparently, if that's a neighboring country, Mexico, Canada, it's two months. Yeah. So <laughs> we've got to do all this before winter. So um, that's what we're going to do. And then uh, we'll check back into the U.S., get another fresh six-month pass. And then we go down the rivers, uh, past Chicago, St. Louis, and down the middle and come out at New Orleans in the Gulf of Mexico. So it's about from there, it's probably about 3,000 miles of motoring, but we get to RV <laughs> on Jupiter. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's the plans. <laughs> and uh, we're pretty happy about that. Yeah. So that's the next year. Really that's our next year planned out. <laughs> but it's cool. It's really, it's cool to spend time here in the U.S. Um, been here a few times for work, but never yeah. for pleasure. <laughs> so, yeah. So all of a sudden, we are leaving Cape Canaveral. Uh, what's this place called? Port St. John's. Yeah. We've been here uh, hanging around this place because that's where we've had our parcels delivered to. We've set up a uh, virtual mailbox there. And we knew we were gonna to leave today. We're gonna to head up to um, Chesapeake and the weather window is really good right now. And our final parcels arrived early. So we're out of here. Yeah. <laughs> so I've been getting the boat ready. Prince has been finishing off a video yeah. and we're gonna get going. You're gonna cook lunch while I yep. drive down the river here. Cause we've gotta beat the bridges. The bridges close at about 3.30, I think it is, for peak hour traffic, you know. Um, 
that's bridge closed for the boat, not for the car. It's opposite, you know. So let's get going. Mm -hmm. Anchor up. Yeah. Let's get the anchor up. Okay. So uh, second day sailing up to Chesapeake. We had a really nice night last night, 10, 11 knots most of the night. And now, wow, we've been sitting on three knots for the last six, seven hours. Maybe it's just starting to change. A little bit of wind coming up now. Sitting on six knots. But uh, because of our slow day, it doesn't look like we will make it to the Chesapeake before the bad weather comes on Friday. Uh, so we're going to divert about a hundred miles shorter is um, the town of... What's it called? What's it called? Ah, forget it. Well, 
Got us. <laughs> Not too bad. We put away the uh, mainsail and the headsail, everything in good time. Had about three or four minutes to spare. The wind's not strong actually, it's only 20 knots and now it's dropped off. So, not too bad. We're just coming into Moorhead City, Beaufort. It's been a bit of a long trip. It's supposed to be... Uh, we, we cut it short because yesterday we had no wind at all. And we were doing three knots most of the day. And the front that was coming is here now. So, uh, motoring for the last five six hours got another two hours to go but finally i can see the channel ahead i can see the channel markers and storms all around i don't like arriving at night time in an unfamiliar place uh, but this seemed very well lit channel markers all the way so and by the time we get there the sun should have risen it's about uh, four in the morning right now oh, oh tired